I'm excited to finally share the forest generator with you. This one took quite a while to put together. The forest generator is a procedural forest that is powered by geometry nodes. And this product can instantly give you results like the ones you see right here on the screen. The forest generator has currently two biomes, a rainforest or jungle and a deciduous forest. There will be more biomes in the future updates, so you can either get the full package with all biomes, which also includes the ones that will be added in the future, or you can also get the biomes individually. So let me show you exactly what you will get if you download this. You will get the zip files with the forest biomes. All you have to do is to extract these files and inside here you can find the blend file. At the moment, the this biome has a wind and a no wind version because viewport playback is very slow in a wind version. Because there are some problems with geometry nodes at the moment which makes it not possible to turn off the wind animation for a viewport. The jungle biome also has no wind option yet. But it is something you can expect to see in future updates. Quick note, always make sure that you use the latest Blender version. Because Blender often makes updates for geometry nodes that are not compatible with the previous versions. So you can open the blend file and here we got the forest generator. But first of all you have to choose which texture resolution you want to use. The zip file contains a textures folder with three options. There's a full resolution folder with 4k textures, then there's one with 2k textures and one with 1k textures. I would not recommend using the full res textures if you don't have more than 16 gigabits of RAM. I like to use the 2k textures because they render the fastest while also not losing a lot of quality. So to link to one of the chosen folders, go to File, External Data, Find Missing Files and choose your resolution folder. If you want to change the texture folder later on, the only solution for this that I have found is to rename the folder that you are currently using by just adding one digit. This will cause Blender to lose all of the connections to this folder and now you can relink it to a different folder. So now if you save this file and reopen it, you can see that all of the textures are loaded and we also have the detailed displacement of the trees. You can also go into the render view now and look at all of the detail of the forest. So the forest is scattered on a plane right now and you can change the shape and make the plane larger and the forest will automatically adjust. There's a folder that is called forest controllers with objects like the high res zone. Everything inside the zone will be rendered with the full level of detail. Then outside of this there is the mid res zone with less detail and everything outside of that will be very low poly. All of the these zones are intended to optimize the performance, so everything that is close to the camera you will include into the high res zone, while decreasing the quality the further the things are away. Then there is the external tree control, in which you can change the amount of subdivisions of the trees, and also divide the density of the tree branches. In the version with the wind animation, you can also find the speed and the strength of the wind right here. And then there's also the delete zone. If you go into the modifier settings of the forest, you can actually Activate the delete zone and everything in here will be deleted so you can make space for your own subjects. For example you would use this if you want to put a house in the middle of the forest. So you can also change the random seed of the whole forest, change the amount of random rotations for all of the objects. Then there is the category ground displacement in which you can first of all increase subdivisions of the object that the forest is scattered on and then you can adjust the displacement strength and the scale of the noise. Then there is the edge and the vertex crease for the subdivision. If you use this forest for example on a cube, the mesh will be smoothed out by the subdivisions, but you can use the edge crease to contain its original form. If you use a sphere for example, you can use the align trees to normal option, so the trees will be pointed in the direction of the normal and not upwards. You can also turn the trees off or isolate them and render only the trees. Then there are the basic scatter options for the trees, the distance minimum controls how far the trees are apart from each other and then there is the maximum density and the density factor. There's also a random seed for only the trees and you can adjust the scale minimum and scale maximum. With the needle tree mixture you can control how many of the trees are needle trees and you also have a separate random seed for those two. The density and scale settings 
are basically the same for all of the other assets. You can also isolate the ground and control how much of it is made out of grass or dry leaves. If you want to see the mesh and not the bounding box of the ground, you can turn off display as instance, but this will also slow down the viewport. And then there's also a low poly forest version that you can use to fill out your backgrounds. Here's an example of how I use this with the normal forest generator in the foreground and the low poly forest in the background. You can also activate the asset collection and do some adjustments to the trees. Here you have control over the displacement and texture scale and the leaf distribution. In the jungle biome you can control the moss and plants on the trees. If you want to use this forest in a other scene you can easily just copy the forest object and paste it into another file and everything will be there. Some of you probably want to know if it is possible to use this with Eevee. Here's a comparison of a Eevee and Cycles render. So yes it is possible to use this with Eevee but keep in mind that Eevee can become quite slow with a lot of textures and large scenes. At a certain size of the forest Eevee become actually slower than Cycles. So that's basically it on all of the features. You can find the links to the forest generator in the description.